praise the Lord. Let's go to the book of John chapter 3. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, you need to be born again. Everyone, whether you agreed or not, we need to be born again. We are born from a woman, then we need to be born from the spirit. What gives birth to the flesh is the flesh. Then we need to be delivered again, you know, from that family foundation. My main point on this one, you know, the time that we are coming to this life, something happened which you don't know. You were not there, you were just a baby. There are certain things that we are now discovering now through the grace of God. Even our mothers and fathers, they never knew that what was happening then could affect the whole entire family. It is now they are realizing or regretting that, oh, this is what happened when this child, you know, when I give birth to this child. This is why everyone, even if I am a pastor, I need to be born again. No question. It is very easy, people of God, for anyone to say, Christ, here I am. I surrender my life to you. Lead me guide me, control me. Everyone can say that. It is very easy. It doesn't mean that you have become born again. No. The foundation of your birth is in the spirit. This is why you need to revisit that foundation so that the Holy Spirit will give birth to you. There you become the child of God. Because of time, I hope and trust that uh, I'll manage to share one or two things through this message. John chapter 3, we'll jump, let me just go direct to verse 4. If you, you can start from verse 1 or verse 3, or let me just start with verse 3 so that uh, we, we married our whole picture. In verse 3, this is the the conversation between Nicodemus and Jesus. This man was a leader, a teacher. Verse 3. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one will see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Unless they are what? I'm sure everyone here, including myself, I confess that I'm a born-again Christian. Is it not so? Are you not confessing that one? Hmm? Can I hear you, church? Are you not confessing that you're a born-again Christian? Mm -hmm. It is very easy to say that. But it is not easy to experience the reality of your confession. If the Spirit of God is not involved... Even a witch can say, I'm a born-again Christian. I am a leader in the church. I work very close to the pastor, bishop, reverend, or father. And yet, the man is a witch, or a criminal, or a humanizer, or a drunkard. Working in the flesh is very easy. You are active. You want to preach people. You want to show people that, yes, you are a Christian through your activities inside the church. What about... Your spiritual birth. Are you really such in heart? This is Jesus talking to this man who happened to be a reader. He said, unless they are born again. This is the answer from the man who is a leader, a pastor like me, or a reverend, or a bishop like any of you. I know that there are pastors inside the church. This is the answer from him. He said, how can someone be born when they are 
old. Nicodemus asked, Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb whom to be born. Is it possible that a man like me, I can go again in my mother's womb and my mother will give birth to me? You cannot understand this language from Jesus if you are not born from above. Because you are in the flesh. The language that you can understand is the language of the flesh. That human beings give birth to small children. That is what you know. But Jesus was not talking about the physical, or, I mean, yes, the one that we receive from our mothers. No, he was talking about a spiritual birth. You see it in Titus. Let me just call you first through this one. Jesus answered, very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. Take note of these two. They are born of what? And the, the spirit. For you to be a completely born again and claim that you are such a person, there are two stages you need to follow. My mother gave birth to me. I need to be born again. How? I need baptism. I need spiritual what? What comes first between the two? Is it water baptism or? I want to catch you. I talked about this one. It's, it's, it, what comes first? Is it water baptism or? Eh? I've reminded you. I should have got you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. For, for someone to be baptized, you need to be born again spiritually. The confirmation that now you are qualified to go and be what? Baptized. But the problem is that people are getting baptized without receiving what? This is why you see someone who was baptized last week Next week, you see that person drinking what? Atibahariwa. Where the spirit of God is settled, you never go back to that life. This is why you need to start with the, your spiritual life before you go to water baptism. Even our Savior, he was filled with the Holy Spirit and it was the spirit that led him into Jordan for him to be baptized by John. Are you there? Working within the church, there's nothing wrong. Becoming a leader, there's nothing wrong. But what is wrong is that you are living the life that you don't know. Even the work that you are doing, you cannot understand it because you are in the flesh. Spiritual understanding always gives strength to the physical body. For you to overcome every challenge or whatever situation that will come along the way. Because you are no longer depending on your own strength for you to protect that spiritual life. It is the same spirit who is there, like in the case of our Savior. What made him to defeat Satan and the knowledge of this world was not the flesh, but the spirit in, in the flesh. The spirit where? In the flesh. Listen to this. Flesh gives birth to flesh. But the spirit gives birth to what? Spirit. If you are not born again by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are not a child of No one can argue with you on that one. No one can say, no, you are not. You yourself, you have never, never experienced the touch of the Holy Spirit. You have never heard his voice, but you are busy. This is why you see there's too much lies in the name of Christianity. No, uh, the Holy Spirit said, the Holy Spirit, and yet, you are just, you know, those are just imaginations. There must be a sign. There must be what? A sign. Each fiaru wa kumubiri nishi, nechi fiaru wa kumupashi nishi, ifi momo alifiari kwa kumubiri, mufule mwafiari kwa kumupashi, so that you must not be able to control it. 
umubiri ngata mufyari kwe kumupashi mukalala nda language iya chebo cha kwalesa but it control na life yenu nishi mubiri that is the danger that is what the danger verse 7 you should not be surprised at my saying you must be born again this is jesus verse 8 the wind blows wherever it pleases you hear its sound but you cannot tell where it comes from and where it is going so it is with everyone born of the spirit i don't know if that one is clear to you whether you like it or not you need to be what this is the question again from the man. How can this be Nicodemus? And this man, the base of my message, people of God, is that this man happened to be a leader. Leading people. And he was totally what? Blank. About the word born again. He was working as a leader. Working for who? For people. Are you working for me? Are you working for people? No. When you become born again, you become the instrument of Jesus in the house of God. Whatever you are doing or you'll be doing in the near future, it is because of the kingdom of God. Don't work for this stomach or for people to appreciate you or praise you. People can mislead you. People can deceive you. But when you become born again, you understand what you are supposed to do, where you are. This is why you see people are saving membership in the name of what? Christianity. No. Save your master in heaven. When you become born again, you see life beyond what you are doing. You understand the principle of you being the child of God. Is it enough for me to be known by you people? No. God must know me. Before you know me, God must first know me to confirm myself that yes, I am a child of God. I, I, I born from above. Praise the Lord. Listen to, uh, to what Jesus said. This is where the point is now. Verse 10. You are Israel teacher, said Jesus. And do you not understand these things? He's a teacher. And he was not teaching, you know, a business. No. Or mathematics. No. He was teaching the same word of God Jesus was teaching. But he could not understand the word, be born what? Again. He said you are a teacher in Israel and you could not understand this. And I want to bring this, you know, very close to you now. I want to connect you from Nicodemus now to your physical birth. When you know you came to this life, this is why it is important that you become what? Born again. Are you there, church? This is, you know, important that you become what? Born again. Why? Because the time that you came to this life, something happened on that day, which you don't know. You can't even remember. Instead of the Holy Spirit, you know, receive you, it was the ancestral. That received you through our mothers and fathers. How? Before now, no one can argue with this one. As long as you are a baby, you need to go through a car process. Uh, you know, uh, there are so many. Uh, let me ask you this question. When you give birth here in town, where are you taking the umbilical cord of the child? Hmm? I'm talking to mothers. Hmm? Uh -huh. uh, come. Flash no. toilet. Thank you. Uh, th those who, who came from the village, our mothers. Please let me talk to you. Stand up, man. 
mwana anga fiali kwa kumushi bachi bale chitashali ambi bale shika mkonde bale shika pa cheko mti mawa mavalandi put mic bale shika mwisa mkonde na mwishi na panchi fiep nga chimbi chimu tini chinshi chimu tinshi ajishi ok wa mavalanda who else please we are learning here don't kill someone because of your, 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 your shame. You thought, okay, let me talk to my wife. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've caught you today. Bashika Mufungo. Yes. Bashika Mwisa. Mufungo. This is my wife. Look. Kwa be fintu finga kumushi. Normally, umuntunga fi ali kuakumushi ni mumufungo. Masho inchi balanda. Kuyana ba kupikiro mtoto muisa. Mumbale. Please get something out of this. It's a very serious issue. This is a ancestral what foundation where God is not involved only your forefathers what engagement with what evil spirit they will bury your umbilical cord under a mufungo tree my sister said here in town we just flush it what is the purpose of burying that umbilical cord okay my sister wanted to talk there I sorry, I, 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 I thought let me learn to this woman. Fiance, <laughs> Thank you. you. You heard my sister. That is another formula. It is not a Sanguka solution. Fiance, Fiotreshan, Fiotreshan, Show your in finishing a bomb. Simply means there is a spirit behind that idea. That, that shell is just a symbol. The idea came from where? From the spirit. Are you getting the point? This is why when you grew up and you know Jesus, you need to be born again. So that you bury that diabolic what? Foundation of your birth. This is where Satan, you know, is coming from. It's tracing you through your, your what? Your birth. It may look so simple and so easy. There are people who are saying, no, once you are born again, which born again are you talking about? Do you have the Holy Spirit inside you? Your mouth will never be born again. You put food here. You gossip through this mouth. You say a lot of things through this. It is here. If you ask our mothers here and fathers, before now, you need to go back to the village to get what? To get what? Uh -huh. I see the hand there. Follow my mother there. Nishmari Kumushi, inena kwa chira ba na kumushi. E mama kwa chire kumushi. E mkuwa. Elo mwalanda sharinga mwaposa mtoide. Tapa ni na kuchi moto aliposa mofeto alama kono. So ni shaba na tamale ba kuma pona ngutumu. Awe. Eh. Tamwa kwa tapa polu lembona ngulumu. Awe. A tawa kwa tolu lembona ngulumu. Eh. Ba 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 father les waliku. You know, I'm not in a better assignment. Go with your elderly sister, go and check her body. She'll come back and say, I've discovered four tattoos. 
at that age, at that age, no one can deceive you that I was born without what? It's a lie. At that age. If you took our mother, I mean you take her somewhere, they will discover four or five tattoos. I can see them. Why? That was the foundation by then. But this is what is misleading now our future. When you become, you know, a child of God, you need to think about this. Don't take it, you know, so lightly. Because if you take it so lightly, you may not know where your problem is coming from. Each and every family, they have gone through this process. This is why, as a child of God now, we all know all these things. I don't know why you people, you pretend to be angels and you know what is happening in your family. Even your children are affected. You ask my mother, she can explain what is happening in the family. This is a very serious issue. Don't look at the faces of your neighbors. Ah, but, uh, no. We are not ashamed to testify against Satan. Because we want to, you know, to reshape our destiny. For the salvation of our what? Our soul. Nicodemus was a teacher, but he could not understand the word born again. Do you understand the word born again? If you can say you understand this way, then the spirit of God is in you. How many people who can say in How many people? Few individuals, in fact, if it is not one. We are what? Zero. Okay, I want to ask you another question. There is this word of, uh, I don't know if this time we are going to teach you. We are going to teach you. Those who are watching us, they, they, they cannot understand. This is our problem here. So we need to come back to our uh, our house. Takwaba. Ah, talk to me now. Takwaba. Charipwa. Who can answer that one? It's like I'm alone here. Okay, give it to my brother. Eko chabe chibele, my brother. Ichibele. But you are to practice Mumishi. Now, Munamu in a number, Bantu Fienso Nisha Kutila Valande. Bamova Momukatika, you know, in Nanganda. A more bad ever to be to practice Chibere, but Pari no Ishta, Fiasha Sana, Fiavasana, common Mumishi. So, now Munamu in a mo to refer to register practice Fidia, no Kufui Kava, no Tun to Mukoshi, Nefia Kuba Suva Suva, a mo to Limunamu in a to live at Okay. Okay. Now, this is the question I want to ask. If you say this issue of which Bele has gone, it simply means that Christianity is now taking over our former what? Life. Or we are shifting from that foundation where we believe so much in this, you know, uh, evil things. We are now trusting who? Jesus. Because before now, there is no way you can carry your child inside the public transport and your child wants to do what? To suck your bless and you, 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 you start bless feeding your child inside the bus. But you know, it's That's why I was asking you that each child is a It simply means you are now trusting who? Jesus. Before now, it was not possible for anyone to find a way to come back on change. Ngamwamo in Shambasu and Aramba Fioku, Lukoki of Kakunga and Dati, Navamon Sesha Pavachi Bede. Kwambok Fuenshi. That is the foundation I'm talking about. If you think to a fiari quen of no Kulafiambo Kulamurivanani, no quick Rafia Kalamurivanani, Muri, when I find it at Wakula. To Hamburg, Fibi, Kamubana. But you are a leader now. You need to be what? You are a child of God now. You need to be what? Born again. If you have a experience, if you have a child of God, you have a child of God. 
Nivanga ba 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 chita po experience ifia. Abe ngalanda ti inena rifume nepo ifia richtike. Can I? Okay. Kali kali your mic there. Okay. The sister. I'm quite dead. The folks that testify at Nad Monaco. Me and I. Kula sangua kuanda five tu asangat ba na mayo ba defi roko nchava na pan padi udio ukwete uka kile miti kuchitenge. And then mm -hmm. if it take a fair quiver, think about you, quit anything you could take. Would young and a quarter feed your nanqua or sharp or more nomna, Abanaba nanque, Bala, Boku, Capada Penok, Daria, instantly, Bala, Nakano, Kunaka. We've seen that. Yes. This is a nurse. She's a nurse. She's talking from what? Experience. Our mother here. There's something I want you to get out of this. It's not a joke, it's a serious one. For you to be a child of God, it's not just a mere confession. You need to placard is what you are confessing. People must learn through you that, yes, God can do this. God can defend and protect you when you become what? Born again. You are not born again by the means of a man, but by the grace of God. Yes, mommy. I experience by number two ones. Kwanda mm -hmm. five. Na mose she mwanda five. Adi ambiro kuluka no kudairi ya no kuna kanaka. Badi iti mine kuna kunchanga. Elo mwachitenshi ya kote. So ba nesi ba jatipo mse mwe ba di muno fule niya vana. Efe wa ishire muka fula vana. Kwa di wali no muti umu. Efe wa ishati. Kuisa muku uputula kuli uwa fuitro muka no muti. Ba uputula no kumputula. Ba uputula no kumputula. This is what we have gone through. And there are some people are still you know experiencing. I mean doing the same thing up to now. Balakula ni ba ba naswa chilan. Awa maeba fiash balando kiat. Ba ritwe di omo ana kuchipata la. From nowhere ya mo ana mboko luka. Ba na maeba bonse. Eh yambenu ku 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 ba sanga ba mina ba kuata. Eh ba funishe kuisa. That's the question. It is the foundation. Ngamu afiari kwa muri the foundation ni amiti iya kumi yabo kuchia tinga ta uchiti levi kwa kuata problem. You conceive that in your mind, and you be moving with perception. Now, this is the message I want you you know to take home. When you become born again, each vele whatever you call it, with the spirit in you, as a child of God, you paralyze that power behind the name what each vele. That spirit cannot function in your presence. As long as you are born again, what? Christian. There are two people who can say, I'm a Christian. And there's one who believes in who? In Jesus. And the spirit of God will be in that person. Whether you are confessing or without confessing, the power of God will prove you that, yes, this one is what? It's a child of God. But those who are being led by the Holy Spirit who are truly born again, they don't fear anyone now. They don't fear anyone now. But the point is that that if you are such a person, you don't fear a person. You don't fear a person. Shiria shwa tatuwa ishwa na mini ni eshi akwata na problem. Isho mwa ishwa mini ni tu mwachita na confess mwebe. But isho tamwa ishwa mini ni mwaisa nga vatu mwarikuwa tene mbo. That's where the problem is. Because those are marks of what? In session. You are dedicated to that long foundation. When you become born again, you need to shift from this foundation to Christ. As now your what? Your foundation. And the spirit of let's go to Titus chapter 3, verse 5. Titus. Are you there? This is verse 5. He saved us not because of the luscious things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing, rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Take note of that one. More especially, this one. He saved us through what? 
the washing of rebirth and renewal by the word, the Holy Spirit. Meaning whatever, if you have watched it before now, by the great, not because of the righteous, you know, work that you have done. No, by the, because you believe in Jesus, then the grace of God will follow you to renew your existence here on earth, to bury the past and give birth to the new foundation where Satan has no hands whatsoever. He'll be living and existing by the grace of God. The grace of God is there. To say, no, 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 that foundation is bad. In fact, they will not even trace you. If they enter your family, you know, line, they will Google and Google spiritually, they will not, you know, discover your name. Because you have already rebirthed and re renewed through the Holy Spirit. You are covered with the grace of God. The presence of God has covered your life. So, you need to be what? Born again. I am not talking about the language born again. I'm talking about the reality of believing in Jesus, which will make you to experience and to be sure of the life that you are living. You and your children. If you don't know, then I'm worried. Because as long as you are schooling, you are a student, you need to know if you make it at the end of the day or not. If you are just going to school to show people that, oh, Mulengalaya University and Tawish Wengo Kapasa, it's better Tawide. Are you sure you are saved? I'm talking to you. Are you sure you are saved? Ha. See the way people are looking at me. Mushemu Aripusuka. If you have a suka. Mushemu Aripusuka. If you are chitike pami bidi yesu, these things can affect your future. Na mashu if you have a land, you have a machine, you have a foundation, can affect your future. Nicodemus was a leader. It may sound complicated, but I want to connect your life to this. A spiritual leader and your birth. For you to understand, you need to be born again through the whole. Hallelujah. Let me see your hand. You are there. But Thank you. God bless you.